Who's on the phone, Paulie? Ted Davis, Milwaukee Bucks radio play-by-play to settle this. Ted, thanks for joining us on short notice, but there's a lot at stake here. Can you? Uh, I I want you to listen to us try to pronounce the Greek freak's name, and then you decide who is the closest here. Seaton, play the uh, first one. Giannis Antetokounmpo. All right, give me the next one. Giannis Antetokounmpo. All right, all right. Number three. Giannis Antetokounmpo. No, that's not close. Four is who? Giannis Antetokounmpo. All right, that's uh, Pritzi and uh, Seaton. Giannis Antetokounmpo. All right. Ted, you do this for a living. How do you pronounce? Who's closest to the correct, correct pronunciation? Who was the second one? Second one. Uh, that was Paul Pabst. That's Paulie. Giannis Adetokounmpo. Uh, you're the closest. It is. It is Giannis Adetokounmpo. Adetokounmpo. Adet Adetokounmpo. Yep, Giannis Adetokounmpo. Oh man, you just totally thrown Adetokounmpo. us into disarray. <laughs> you want the backstory real quick? Yes. He's actually from Nigeria. His parents immigrated from Nigeria to Greece, where he was born. He was born in Greece. Well, there's a Nigerian spelling of the name that is completely different than the Greek spelling. And so that's why when you go Greek, you get all that antetokounmpo stuff in there. If you just break it down to the Nigerian pronunciation, the way he says it, it is Giannis Adetokounmpo. Adetokounmpo. Yep, like Adetokounmpo. Oh, well, that doesn't sound that tough. See, once you kind of look at it, see, when he was drafted, I looked at the name and I thought, holy crap, I've got to say that name every night. <laughs> and for about a half a year, I just called him the alphabet. <laughs> and then I finally figured out to, to say Adetta Kumbo, and now you know what? He's to the point where we just call him the honest. Well, even last night with the game winner against the Knicks, you're, you're not even saying his last name. There's no, no reason I mean, to. Well, you know, at some point when you become really good, you become Shaq or you become Michael you know, or you become KD or something, you don't have to have a last name. And so I think right now he's Giannis. How great, well, how good is he? How great can he be? I've been doing this for 30 years, and I have never seen a player as freakishly athletic as he is. Now, he's not as good as Michael Jordan or LeBron James or some of the other great players, but athletically, I don't think the league has ever seen anything like him. A near seven-foot guy who can run the floor, like a small forward, handle the ball like a guard. He can, he can defend all five positions. And the strides that he takes, the ground he covers with one or two steps, I've never seen it in the NBA. And he's a young guy who I think is starting to blossom, bloom like a beautiful flower. And he is now beginning to understand how good he is and how good he can be. I kind of have to pinch myself. I mean, he was the 15th pick. Yeah unknown coming out of Greece, and I'll tell you right now, he's at least one of the top ten players in the NBA, if not top five. Who would you trade him for? Oh, man. Somebody asked me that the other day. Would you trade Anthony Davis for him? Yes. Uh, you know, you'd think about it for a minute, but no, because I think he's more versatile than Anthony Davis. But beyond that, I'm not sure there's anybody – I would trade right now. The, the, the guy's only, he just turned 22 years old. I know. All right. And he's putting up these kind of numbers. All right, Ted, on the way out, give it to us one more time. The pronunciation is? Giannis Adetokounmpo. Ted, thanks for joining us. All right, thank you, Dan. That's Ted Davis, the Bucks play-by-play guy. The Dan Patrick Show, weekday mornings on Audience.